There's a Catholic school in Nashville, Tennessee has banned the Harry Potter series because a reverend at the school claims the books include both good and evil magic, as well as spells, which, if read by a human, can conjure evil spirits, according to the Tennessean. The publication obtained an email from Reverend Dan Rehill, uh, a pastor at St. Edward's Catholic School Parish, which was sent to parents. In the email, Rehill explains that he consulted several exorcists in the U.S. and in Rome, and it was recommended that the school remove the books, the Tennessean reports. Reverend Rehill said of the Harry Potter series, these books represent or present magic as both good and evil, which is not true, but in fact a clever deception. The curses and spells used in the books are actual, are actual curses and spells, which, would, uh, which when read by a human being, risk conjuring evil spirits into the presence of the person reading the text. Other parents had complained and so on, and, that's, and so they took out the Harry Potter books. I, I've heard this from other, from other people, that the spells, the magic spells in Harry Potter are, quote, actual magic spells. Are they, though, a, I mean, actual magic spells? Because I don't think magic spells exist in reality. Have you ever seen anyone say a magic spell and then something magical happens? Have you ever seen that in your life? I never have. You know, that, that's something that exists in, in fantasy books. It's not, it's not a real thing. But this problem with Harry Potter, this is a, a thing among some Christians. A not insignificant number of Christians, in my experience. Some Christians are very uncomfortable with Harry Potter. Uh, and maybe that's understating it. Um, but I have to say that I don't understand it personally. This idea that it's somehow spiritually dangerous, that I don't get. Yes, there are magic spells, there are evil spirits, evil forces, all that, but but all of that exists, speaking of Lord of the Rings, all of that exists in Lord of the Rings too. And I get that Tolkien, Tolkien was a was a was a Christian, and there are some Christian elements in the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is not a Christian allegory, as some people like to claim. Tolkien himself was clear that it was not that, wasn't meant to be that, but he was a Christian, a devout Christian. But still, it's a fantasy story dealing with good and evil forces and magic spells and so on and so forth, just like Harry Potter. So why is Harry Potter a problem, but not Lord of the Rings? I, I, I don't quite understand that. I think the depiction of evil in a story, whether it's magical evil or ordinary everyday evil, really doesn't much matter. The depiction only becomes problematic when the evil is either glorified or when we're given sort of a nihilistic view where there's really no difference between good and evil and they all blend together and in the end there is no good or evil. I think both of those are problems, especially for kids. So I would agree with that. But I think that's where it becomes a problem, where there is no difference between good and evil or where evil is actually glorified. And there are many examples of both of those things, both in modern literature and in modern television and movies and everything else. My understanding is that Harry Potter is a pretty straightforward good character, and the story is all about his struggle, his ultimately successful struggle, right, against uh, the bad guys. So there's no problem as far as that's concerned. I mean, are, are kids likely to read Harry Potter and come away identifying with Voldemort? Come away rooting for Voldemort to win? You do see that with some fictional stories with the, where the bad guys are kind of cooler and those are the ones that kids identify with. What about, what about uh, Darth Vader? When I was a kid, um, I was never a big Star Wars fan, but I definitely thought, like most people, I thought Darth Vader was by far the coolest Star Wars character, I still, I still think he is. But you never hear Christians worrying about Star Wars. There you, you've, got, you've got magical forces. You've got the Force, right? Uh, bad Jedis, good Jedis. You've got Darth Vader, who's the cool bad guy that everyone sort of is more interested in. Uh, yet, as I said, Christians aren't worried about that. So I don't quite understand it. Now, there's a trend on the other side of the coin to get rid of literary classics like Huckleberry Finn and so on because it isn't politically correct and because it has language that is, uh, that's, they say is problematic. The stuff with Harry Potter, though I don't think that Harry Potter is a literary classic, but this stuff seems a little like the Christian version of that. If we're going to say, and I do say, that books with the N-word, books such as Mark Twain books with the N-word in them, should be allowed to stay on the shelves in schools because kids can be expected to take that in context and understand it in its context. If we're going to say that, 
then can't we expect kids to understand magical spells in their context? Namely, the context of make-believe? Thank you for tuning in to The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative uh, outlets in the entire country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and then subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.